Hey YouTube, Crystal here, and today I have a little bit of, well, it's probably going to be kind of a large so tall. I got so much stuff in the way. What I was originally doing at the first place. Just a second. Okay, so I located what I was going to do as a thrift haul. Um, up first, I'm going to show you this. I really thought this was cool. Um, maybe it's Mrs. on Pieces, but I loved it. So I picked it up. It's a, yeah, it's Barbie. It looks a bit like a caboodle, but it's a travel Barbie. I don't, wait, hold on just a second. Okay, so I have my, so this was $2.79 at Goodwill. Super happy to find this. It's like a dollhouse, travel dollhouse. It's a RV kind of thing. It would be cool if our RV could just do that. I don't know. Okay. So, here's how it works. It just like, try and get I probably like made y'all think y'all were in a earthquake, earthquake or something. So we're gonna dem we're gonna do a demonstration with our doll here. We have our made to move doll Harley. Yes. So here we go. Yeah. Well, well the bed, the bed fits Barbie perfect. Even though this wasn't her, the Harley perfect. Even though this wasn't made for her but yeah. she can just chill out in her little in this little loungy type thing this could be like a little i guess it could be like a little hangout why it's not a bed yeah like bring somebody in and then we're gonna put harley over here another little hangout room. we can we could probably do it like that so it'd be like separate rooms also I don't know if it was meant to be like that, but you could do that. Yeah. Um, to maybe take up less room. So yeah, this is um a pretty cool little eighties I mean, was it oh it's nineties. Nineties Barbie travel house. And you could even probably store some clothes in there. And let's see. We're gonna see. Can we put a Barbie in there while we're while we travel? Kind of like layer like that and close it up voila a barbie fits in there we're gonna get harley out she's probably scared okay yeah okay so there is that and we're gonna put harley back here so she can this is fao schwartz and it's a little dog thing i think i got it for some somebody in my family because they love puppies and you can take a little, well it's for our stuffed animal puppy. And it's got the little pillow that goes in there and you can take it out. It's so cute. It's like you'd be putting a real dog up in here. And then we have this, oh it's a little over there. We have this part for storage. I need to clean it up a little bit. But man, it's so cute. This is the cutest thing. Okay, and we have... A city toy doll. I can't when I see these in the outlet I I can't avoid them. I don't know why I need to because I don't really need any more dolls. And then she has like a pink stripe in her hair. She's a really pretty girl. She's got some long, long eyelashes. Dang, she got some long eyelashes. Oh she's got a pin mark right there. Probably won't be able to get that off. But and yeah, there is her. She needs the bath for sure. And then I got a um I think this is my life the Barbie I mean the Barbie 
the um, Walmart Walmart man, and it can go up and down. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Then I have this awesome monkey from, I think, from the show Wicked. Super cool. I know that because he says Wicked. I had to pick him up. Look at his hair. Ha <laughs> ha. And I got some kind of little hair accessories. It's like little lollipop or something and clips and hair clips. I don't know what it comes from. First, I was going to say um, a pony because this looked kind of like um, Pinkie Pie's um, hey, um, cutie mark. Then we have a Darth Vader coin bank. So cool. I love Darth Vader. I collect Darth Vader stuff. And then I have a Hello Kitty cheerleader, which I also collect Hello Kitty. Well, somewhat. Then I have this cheapy doll. <laughs> dollar store doll oh she was in the outlet so i was like well maybe i can find a use for that dress not the doll obviously but for the dress we'll just redonate her maybe some girls will like her and then found this fisher price doll i did know her name i looked her up and now i I totally like her. Look at her cute boots. Those are so cute. And she's a vintage doll. I think she's 1970s. And this is her original outfit. Yeah, she's 1970. I totally slipped her, my brain on her name. But she's really cute. I like her. First I thought she was Holy Hubby. Then I realized she's not Holy Hubby. Then I have some of these. I don't know what this is. I have no clue. Maybe you are you supposed to make something with this? I don't know. I thought it was like I don't know what I thought it was. I just threw it in there for the outlet because I thought it was like some kind of jewelry for dolls. But I don't think it is. I think it's some kind of jewelry making kit that it went to, and it's not here. And I have this little um, shoe. I also looked this up, and I can't remember what it was. Um, but anyway. It's a little play set where you're, it's like the woman, old woman in the shoe, and it comes with little dolls. But I don't, didn't have any of the dolls with it, so I just thought it was really cute, the color scheme and everything. And then I got a Wolverine. I think this is, I don't know if this is Mega Bloks or what it is. Yeah, he's Mega, he says Mega Bloks. He's a pretty cool figure. And... Yet another city doll. I think it might be from the same line as that doll I just showed, but she's in good shape because she has pink in her hair, purple in her hair, just like that other doll. Oh, and she has a malfunction. Look at that. What is that? What? This. Okay. I don't know what that is sticking out, but it was weird. Okay. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna do with this. Then this is some kind of thing, accessory to a Monster High. Oh, it opens. Okay. And this, I don't, some kind of skirt. I don't know what that is. Hey, come on. Another doll. I guess it actually got in here. And then we have this giant Boyd's Bear. I got it out the free stuff. And I got it because um, I see these. I see Boyd's bears all the time, but I never seen one that was a puffet. So hello, I'm a Boyd's bear and I'm a puffet. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I got him. <laughs> and then I got a elf on the shelf um, Funko. I believe it's for a baby because it's a rattler, but it's Funko and it's elf on the shelf. So I love it. <laughs> I collect one honestly. And then we got a... I got a crazy poodle that needs a bath. Hey, look at his little legs. Ah, he's cute. And got a 
another sock monkey. I'm trying not to get the same, like, I'm trying to get odd ones. Like, this sweater, the little heart sweater is too cute to pass up though. Then we got a, I believe this is Warner Brothers Studios. A, I believe it was one of the whack, is this one of the wacky racers? I don't know. It's one of those guys like that. One of the guys on there. I don't know who it is. But there he is. And then I got some of these. I believe these are in Melissa and Doug. I think these went to like a... I don't know what they went to actually. See we got like a... Woman with like a cape. I'm going to say it's a... Oh, I think this is the king. Is this king and queen? And then like some kind of... Maid? I don't know. So there's that. And then I got these um, Queen Purses All Beads. It's got the Union Jack in it. So there's that. And then, oh, I found this brat. I don't know if she's a lost cause or not. Her hair is like really matted. We'll see. This is going to be a big on taking to get her looking good. I believe this is a Yasmin. Because she has her little mark right there. So I think that's a Yasmin. And we have Star Trek Vena. Yeah, this is not one of the original figures. This is the remake figure. But it was in the outlet. So I was like, throw that in there. They got some cool other figures too. But that was the only one there. And it's a girl one. I like girl figures. Obviously. We got more and more. This is going to be a long video. Oh, and then we got like some little books. I love Halloween themed books. And I thought this one was pretty cool. Maybe this is not Halloween themed, but it's Witch on a Motorcycle. Halloween enough for me. Look how cute this is. I stinking love it. I love anything like that. Then I got a Animaniacs coloring book. I don't think it's ever been colored in. Yay. Yay. I like it. Then I got a Lion King paint and marker book, and it was only $1.24 when this was bought. Ha <laughs> ha! Good luck finding a dollar twenty. Well, you aren't gonna find a. You're definitely not gonna find a Disney coloring book for $1.24 at Walmart anymore. Oh, I like it because it doesn't have. It's the marker book. Oh, somebody colored that. Wasn't too bad. Hmm. It's the marker book, so you don't paint marker book so you don't have a double page. What is this? Oh, there must have been... Oh, they oh they tore that out. Okay, I see. Alright. I was like, what is that crazy thing on? Okay. And then, got some couple books. I really, really loved this show, He Cliff, growing up. It was one of my favorite shows. I wonder if it come on Nickelodeon. I can't remember because I watched so much Dis Disney and Nickelodeon back then. And so cute. Yes. So there's that. Heathcliff, the summer carnival. And then we had Heathcliff, gotta get a fish. And somebody did write in some portions of them, I think. That's alright. I like it because I love Heathcliff so much. I got this little cat. It was from um, Richard Scary. Don't know this little guy's name, but look at his little cute. Was that like Lederhosen or something? I don't know. I know who he is. I've I've did the Richard Scary. We had the Richard Scary books. I know who he is. But can't just. I just can't remember. And then we got this crazy guy. Um, I can't remember, but I thought he was like something like, like an Ewok knockoff or something. But then my fiance said he could be a, um, a Bigfoot. He could be a version of, he could be like just a Bigfoot toy. And his name is Beeple. Didn't look it up. Is it Beepy or Beeple? I don't know. But he's just a crazy guy and he was in the outlet. I mean, he was in the free stuff at my thrift store. 
and you can see in there he has like these little LED looking lights but I'm pretty sure they're not LED because he is not he's from like I don't know where he's from but I'm gonna say like the 80s but he doesn't have a date but I'm gonna say like he's from the 80s for sure and I have reached the bottom that oh one more thing I found this um these they're kind of dirty don't look too close um Jack Nightmare for Christmas earmuffs so cute don't know if I wear them maybe I just sit them somewhere <laughs> look I got a Sally hat it's probably never gonna wear just picked her up and then got a few pieces of jewelry I don't know if somebody made these but they were in a box so I just picked them up I thought they were the rocks and stuff were kind of cool and the roses I love roses then we got this necklace I love the colors and another necklace kind of like that other one I love the colors again I mean even if I don't use these you probably could make more jewelry from them so uh, there's another little bracelet and this bracelet has like roses on it which I love and this beaded one so um, I believe that is it we have reached the bottom of the box of the haul I had in this box then we have like this little and we do have some more bristles we have like this weird rock looking thing and some more, more I think that was glass beads all right so that is it for this haul this is all the stuff I got, although you can't see hardly any of it. But if you like this haul, give me a thumbs up. If you found something that you liked in this video, comment below and let me know what it was. And also, click that subscribe button. Make sure you click that little bell so you get my latest videos when I upload. And thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye bye, YouTube.